Hello, hello. How is everyone today? I hope that all the text alerts went out. I saw mine about 20 seconds ago, so hopefully we'll have a few more people joining us. Don't worry, everything will be available on replay if you are unable to. Hello, hello. Uh, sorry, the countdown timer went again. I'm not sure what that was doing. It just kept hitting replay. Hope everyone is well today. This is Amy from Seriously Sweet on Davis Street. And we are about to have our Tuesday noon of Cookie Snack Attack. So I'm going to put a few links up on the screen for you. First, I want to tell you, if you have not joined our text alert, please do that by texting the word live stream to the phone number 540-870-0726 and follow the prompts. Once you get a second notice back from them after completing a little bit of survey information, then you will know you are in there and you will be getting regular text messages before I go live. So if you wanna watch any of the live streaming or tutorials or just know about any um, unboxings that we're doing, anything like that, you'll get that information, okay? So let me click the that text alert off. I'm gonna leave the ticker down at the bottom just for a minute in case you need to get that. It'll be at the beginning of the video, but I do wanna go ahead and flash a few comments up for you. These will be live links on Facebook so you can view them later. But if you haven't liked our store page before, I would really appreciate it if you would do that. We have all kinds of fun stuff going on there on a regular basis. So that link will be live. It'll take you straight to our store page. If you are not in our cookie snack attack group yet, I would love for you to visit that. Oops, let me put this one up. That's the Facebook link, okay? If you're not in our all things cookie group, or maybe you've made it into the all things cookie group and you didn't really realize what you were going into. So uh, if you're in there and you're not enjoying all the cookie things, you know, I, I'm not going to be upset if you don't stay. It's okay. I'd love for you to stay, especially if you like to watch food videos and things of that nature. But on the Facebook page, in the links later, that will be a live link to get you directly to that group. Just answer the group questions and we will get you admitted into that. And then we would love for you to follow us over to YouTube and smash that subscribe button, hit your notifications to receive all. And the reason that th that is really important is because that is where all the cookie videos are, where you don't have to dig through store posts and how many cupcakes I have left for the day and all of that other fun stuff that goes on on the store page. So make sure you go over there and smash that subscribe button, okay? Uh, today, the we're doing three tutorials today. I know that's more than normal, but I got it. Oops. Oh, no. Just made a huge mess. Too bad you guys can't see it, but my um, pups are going to have a good time because I just put powdered sugar all over the floor. <laughs> oh, well. These things happen whenever you go live. That's just how the cookie crumbles. Okay, so what was I telling you? I think I was telling you that... <laughs> Oh my goodness. I have to get a little bit of this up, guys, or it's going to be all over me before the video is over. Oh, we're doing three videos today. And the reason we're on three videos today is because I had something come up yesterday, so I couldn't do the one that I wanted to get out of the way yesterday. So the three smaller videos, they're, the one we're doing now is going to be for sculpting some palm trees. So we can talk a little bit about sculpting. Um, and the cutters are from Shea B. I put that link in there too. Let me pop that up on the screen for you. This is to the page for all things palm tree on the Shea B site. The reason I didn't link just the two cutters is because when you do a search on the Shea B cutter site for palm trees, they have two really cool palm tree stencils. So for those of you that have an airbrush, I thought it might be nice if you wanted to, that you knew that they had the stencils because... Those would be so cute on plaque cookie cutters, maybe with like a neon yellow background and then spray paint the palm trees on there. There's a one part and a two part. So you can do just a, a regular palm tree, you know, in green. And then the two part is um, where you can do the leaves in green and you can do the tree trunks in the whatever brown, whatever color you want to do them in. 
So I left those up there plus the two palm trees that we're doing today. And let's see. So after the Shea B is over, let's say hi to a few people. Let's see. Oh, so three parts. So we're going to knock out the palm trees this morning because that's got a little bit of sculpting. Um, we will be doing, I think the thing I set up for four o'clock today, if you can't join, everything will be available for replay. So please don't worry. Um, the two can, I think, think is what I set up for four, but if it's not the toucan, yeah, it's the toucan. So the toucan is off, so also from Shea B. So if you're ordering those palm trees, grab the tropical toucan from her side if you haven't yet, because it works in great with this series. So that's the one we're going to do at four. And then at 7 p.m. tonight, we'll do our normal part of our um, two-part tutorial Tuesday. That'll be at seven. So noon, four, and seven today, okay? And we'll be doing the, the pineapple last. And that cutter is from your set that came from DB Cookie Cutter. And that, I believe, will leave us two of the large cutters to do from our Dots and Bows um, cutter set, the set that I had designed with Dots and Bows. It'll leave us two of our large plaques, and that should keep us right on schedule so that we can sneak into something fun for the end of August before we hit Halloween hard. <laughs> All right. All right. So Nadine, Nadine, that is my beautiful friend from Canada. How are you? Hello. Hi, Kelly. How are you today? Becky, you made it. Oh, Becky, I saw some of your posts this weekend. Beautiful, beautiful cookie and going on. Miss Debbie made it. Hello. Hey, Jennifer. Hey, hey, what do you say? I'm glad that you are here. Help me out if you can when it's time for links, if there's questions. Um, Linda, hello. How are you? Nadine, I have to see what this says. Just been over 125 to which is about 150. Got the palm tree and a sub box. I think you're going to love this sub box from her. My box came yesterday from Shea B. I have to tell you, you guys, I sat down. If you subscribe for that Shea B box, um, even, you know, it comes out, I, normally they're all shipped by the 15th. So even if it, you don't get it right on the 15th, when it's a huge box like this, like, I feel like it's fine. It, it doesn't matter if it comes a little bit late because do you guys realize what's in that box? There are 10 lettered, and it means it's the number and then also the writing is available for you, the little space for the writing for the number. So it has the number one, but then it's also laid out for you to write the word one, right? And then that space is also a nice size space that if you wanted to put a child's name there, you could as well. But there were 10 of those in the box that we paid $20 for. If we just stopped right there, that would have been $2 a cutter for three and a half inch cutters. That's like crazy great deal. Then on top of that, there are five stencils in there that each of the stencils have two of the numbers. So you don't have to hand letter that. You can airbrush it if you're not comfortable hand lettering. So that's a deal in of itself. So you need to count that as 10 items because there's one um, lettered area for each of your numbered cutters. Or you could use those, the stencil is thick enough, you could use it to swipe if you want to do icing swipe on there. And then the other thing is you can also airbrush and then go back and hand pipe it so you don't have to pull your projector out. So that's like having 20 items for the 20 bucks. That would have made them a dollar a piece. But did you see there's digital card backers also, 10 of them? So there's one card backer for each of the numbers. So that's like 30 items for 20 bucks plus shipping, which I thought was incredible. Uh, Miss Kathy. Okay, so catch the replay, please. If anybody else is having to catch the replay, please just message me any of your questions. I'm going to be right here in my nice, lovely, organized, clean cookie area. That was a major overhaul yesterday, I have to tell you. But now I can find everything. I just have to do a little bit more labeling on my clear container so that I don't forget where I put things. But oh my goodness, I feel so much less stressed when I sit down to create something here. Hey, Ms. Lorraine. Hi, Robin. How are you? Hey, Mary Jean. I'm glad you're catching the live too. I miss you when you're not on the lives. All right. So Jennifer's putting the links in again. She put Facebook, YouTube. Let's see, Jeremy. Oh, you are with us. That's a fun, not actively insane. That's because you're moving, right? Everything's insane. <laughs> I am shocked because I thought you would be like in full hill packing right now. 
All right. Thank you, Jennifer. Drop anything else in there. Oh, Sally, you are here. Um, rushed and tired already cooking me. <laughs> That's so funny. Sally, if you could drop in a link to your blog. I have so enjoyed reading your, she has a 12 year long blog on um, food. She's done a 12 year long blog, but recently she started a blog that's all about cookies and I am finding her cookies, cookie adventures. So entertaining. Um, and I just love the way that you write Sally. So drop your blog in here. I think the others will enjoy it too. I'm not pulling my hair out. No, I'm not pulling my hair out. I have decided to slow down y'all. I am just done with all of the craziness that other people inflict on me. So my hair is going to stay just like that piled up and curly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. And, uh, oh, good. Yeah. You got to go to the gym. Hey, so guess what? I have something really, really, <laughs> I have something really cool happening. Hey, 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 Vivian, how are you? Oh, you're cleaning up diamond dust from Sunday. Um, oh, let me tell you something, you guys, when I went to, I have a table that I work on. It's a really heavy wooden, um, antique table. That's where I, that's what I'm using in my cookie studio. <clears throat> at the house. And I thought that would be what on earth did I do with my drink? How did I sit down here with no drink? I guess I didn't go get ice. Anyway, I sat down here to work um, over the weekend and I was like, I can't take it anymore. So yesterday I realized there was a sale on some of the storage containers at Michael's and there's some things that I just needed a few more of. So I went and got those. And of course, enabler alert, um, I put a post up with the wall of sprinkles, but another local person who was in our cookie group said the wall, they had already moved the wall to the clearance section. So if you saw that picture yesterday morning, they've already moved whatever was left over because I guess some people came in and did what I did. And, and I filled up, you know, the top part of a shopping cart, like where the kids sit. I filled that whole thing up with sale things. And I got lots of stuff that I need for the next four months. I didn't buy useless like just random things. I, I knew I always keep a list with me of what my next classes are and things I'm going to be doing. I got to get this in the bag before it crusts too much, you guys, because we're doing sculpting. So it's already super thick. And I wanted you to see this. Let me show you this real quick. And then I'll come back to comments. Can you see how thick this is? This is when I tell you guys toothpaste consistency, I'm talking like regular, just boring old Colgate. You see it's thick. It has a matte finish to it. It's not moving. Even if I jiggle it, I'm still getting points, tips. So that's where you need to be with all your icing for today. So let me come back to my story. So I walk in there, I fill that card up and the lady is standing there with another card about to mark some more stuff down. I was like, oh, I don't want to hold you up, mark some stuff down. And she's like, well, everything on this wall is marked. She said, but I'm hoping I get three or four other ladies like you in here this morning and they clean this wall out because we have to move it. And I was like, well, are you moving the baking section? That's what I thought she meant. And, the, and she was like, no, no, we're, we've just got new product for this wall. We've got to reset it. And she, and I said, well, are you getting rid of all of this? She said, yeah, all of this is close out and close out means it's not just on sale. Cause it's been there a while. It means they're not going to carry it anymore. So I was like, are you sure? Because this is Wilton. And she said, well, the new stuff is here for the wall. And she said, I don't remember it saying Wilton on any of the packages. So I'm going to go in between the noon and the four, since I know they moved the wall. I'm going to go back between noon and four and see what they put on the wall, because she said it was staying as baking. So anyway, the reason I'm telling you that is because when I started organizing yesterday, so funny, um, <laughs> uh, non-parels everywhere on this table from a few weeks ago when I, when I spilled the non-parels. They were everywhere. So I was like, oh my goodness, how am I going to get all these up? Because it's an um, antique farm table with the planks in it. So I literally had to vacuum the crevices of this table yesterday um, because once I had moved things, they had rolled into all those crevices. So I was like, oh, what a mess to clean up. But okay, it's fine. I did it. I just think it's funny because, you know, different ones of us spill different things and we seem to do it on the regular. Can you guys see these? If you do go into Michael's for that sale, um, first of all, I did not upload your supply list. I'll be uploading it afterwards for the first, for this part, it's just a free supply list. There's no transfers or anything. This is kind of one of the bonus cookies, um, but there will be a supply list up for part two and part three that's gonna have royal icing transfers. 
And um, those, you know, you can get the supply list in the same grouping, but there's a cost for the transfers that helps me support the live streams. And it is the middle of the month. So there's some stuff to pay for. If anybody feels like supporting their favorite cookie artist today, I would love that. All right. So you see this little set of tools. It came in this. It's in the um, clay aisle. Can you see that? It says mini clay tool set. All right. This was um, $7.99, I think. And then all regular price items are 20% off if you have that coupon app. So this is the perfect little tool set. Now, many of you will remember I did that. Um, I did that dollar store reveal several months ago. Do you see these things? You guys were laughing your head off at me because I bought a dollar store blemish extractor tool in the cosmetic aisle. Do you guys remember that? Uh-huh. Do you see? It looked just like one of these. Do you remember? For a buck. So listen, when I'm giving you ideas like that, it's not that I think that, you know, you need to run to the dollar store. What I'm trying to do is let new cookiers try out different things so they can find their path. Okay. Some people are going to hate sculpting. Some people are going to love sculpting. Some people have an art background and they love to paint and you should paint. So what I'm trying to do is just open up different avenues for all of you before you spend money on the more expensive tools. So when I give you dollar store finds like that, it's just so you can try them out. And then when you get the nicer tools, pass your tools on and, and bring somebody into the cookie world. Okay. But this was just like what I showed you. It's the exact same material, metal, the grip here on the handle, this bit up here, same thing, okay? But these are actually clay tools. So be aware of what you're looking at when you're shopping, okay? Now, these are my fave. I love to use these little, um, I guess they're bamboo, but these are so much fun to sculpt with. If you're not comfortable with that, then get you one of the fondant sets, like with the Dresden tool and the ball tools and all of that, okay? Let's say hi to just a few more people. Um, Lorraine, you're cleaning up diamond dust. Yes, yes, diamond dust everywhere. I've had that happen before. Um, spilled sugar, I could, yeah, <laughs> yes. All right, and my little pups are gonna be sugar rushed. They're all sleeping right now. I let them out before we went live and it's so hot out there. Um, and they don't like heat. They're little um, Bichon Pomeranian dogs. So we call them Pomeranians. So they're like, no, I need a bowl of ice now, mom. And I'm going to go take a nap while you're working. <laughs> so funny. All right. So let's see. You had your transfers made. And she, oh, no. Well, Kelly, that just means the next round is going to come out even better. <laughs> oh, let's see. Sally, I don't really think about my Jack Russell with powdered sugar. <laughs> You know, Jack Russell's are crazy active anyway. My mom and sister both had one, but I can't imagine those two dogs jacked up on bags of powdered sugar. That's hilarious. Hey, hey, Becky, how are you this morning? How are you? How are you? Hi, my friend, Heather. How is it down there in Texas? I bet it's hot today. Let's see. Finishing an order. No kidding. Slobbery dog toy flu. <laughs> now, they're not in my cookie room. Just so you know, they don't they don't come in my cookie room. Um, there, but my cookie room right now is in the house. Oh, that's what I was starting to tell you. I have something so exciting happening. I can't tell you yet, but when it starts happening, I will start putting pictures up for you during our live feeds, just like snippets so you can see what's going on because I am about to get the coolest cookie studio ever. So excited. And what that means that affects you, it means my videos are going to get better. My equipment is about to get better. The place I'm streaming from is going to be solely dedicated to this, which means I'm going to be able to get all organized, get my 3D printer out because my friend Allison is going to help me with that. And then I will be busting out the Cricut machine too. So you guys are going to have stencils and cookie cutter files and all kinds of craziness is coming. So excited. Um, I've had to do this a little faster than I anticipated because actually what I started a month and a half ago wasn't on the schedule to start until August, but some other things happened. And so I had to shift quicker. So I may not be releasing it all as organized as I had hoped to, but we are getting it all to you and it's all going to be good for you. Let's see what Sally said here. I heard two can, he <laughs> he, two cans. Yes, we can have two cans. Is that what you want? We can have two cans. I think I posted a picture of three, <laughs> Jennifer. All right, let's see. Becky is saying, yes, you are very welcome, Becky. Hey, Sandy, how are you? Thank you for joining. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Kat. 
Um, let's see. I asked, they may have um, boxes left over. You could buy. Nadine, are you still on here? Do you mean Shea B boxes? Because if she has extra number boxes, um, oh, Sally, you got yours. Isn't it the best? I'm just so happy. That is such a good deal. Yeah. Okay. So Jen is saying that the customer cutters are now on the shavy site posted individually and they're 350 a piece so that is definitely one of the huge value boxes and the stencils are very high quality i like that because sally we can airbrush with them we can use them to do the swiping if you want to do that so basically guys or you can use them to airbrush and then do your hand lettering so you basically have beginner intermediate and advanced level right there one stencil like great 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 quality. Sugar spills calls her space clean. Hey, Jeremy, I spilled it on this, which is like a vinyl mat that looks like wood planks. This is not my table. This is actually something I can sanitize because, you know, I just can't handle um, not having everything super clean. So when where I spilled, thank God, I spilled right here and a little poof went off to the side of my shoulder. It's probably on my shirt that hit the floor, but they'll get it. <laughs> no, Jen, I am not going to lose things in my three foot area. So funny. Um, let's see. I thought I would not get all that bubble wrap from those cutter. Oh, get all the bubble wrap off the cutters. Don't you love it when they come packaged like that? Dots and Bows does that too. Everything is packed in bubble wrap and it's fantastic. Jeremy, 27 boxes and six bins packed. Well, watch, watch the cookie shenanigans that are be going on all day today at all the different places. And then maybe you'll be happy and feel like packing again. Okay. There's Sally's blog for the love of cookies. It'll be a live link on the Facebook page. Um, Jen. So it was so out of control that I woke up. I had a nightmare last week. Like of, I was in the middle. I was literally like in my dream. I was doing a live and everything was so, um, stacked up on the table that it fell over and crashed on me during the live stream. And then I was like, Oh no, see, this is, that's when my brain is like, you've been focusing on organizing, but you have not done it yet. So then I kicked it into gear and Oh my God, when I kicked it into gear yesterday, the cleaning that went on because I have been slacking the last three weeks on other things that needed to be done because I've been working in the cookie studio so much. <laughs> <laughs> link love. Yes, yes, yes. Link love. I'm glad. Thank you for sharing that. Oh, 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 Jen. Thank you. I just saw the message. Hold on one sec, guys. Um, let's see. Let me share that so people have it because we're probably missing some people because of that. Hold on one sec. There's got to be a way for me to make you an instant approval, Jen. So I'm going to work on that later, too, because my my friend told me last night. Yes. Organize your cookie space, because if I really believe, guys, if you're not organized, then you can't find your stuff. If you can't find your stuff, you're not going to use my stuff. My earlier text left. For, uh, I don't know what that is. I'll figure that out in a minute, though. Oh, oh, my gosh, you guys. What is going on here? Let's see where we are. Uh, yes. Okay, so Jeremy has moved more times than me. It's always a joke with my friends how many times I've moved, but Jeremy beats me hand down. I mean, I mean, just hands down, you beat me. <laughs> Drooling here, we need classes on using them on the tools. Yep, we're going to be doing them more. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, uh, you didn't have too much clearance in the baking. I'm sorry. I wonder if someone else beat you to it. Apparently, my Michaels has a great selection. Hey, Priscilla, how are you? Let's see, Michael's going to Celebration brand. Well, then it might still be Wilton product, but under their name, so we'll see. But I'm just hoping they have some cool new stuff in there. And you know those um, you know those fondant mats that I used earlier in the year, you guys, that I made the um, dogwood cookies with? And then I told you about the one that, I, that we're going to be using um, like this, right? They're in the... The baking part, not the sprinkle aisle, but in the baking part, this is one we're going to be using for the tiki's um, to make a more wooden sculpted look, but using fondant to get that look. Um, they had those for five dollars yesterday, and they had three that I didn't own, so of course I bought them. I just wanted to help them clear out their stuff, you know. Oh, Kathy, Kelly, I'm sorry your Michaels is bad. Everyone should have a good Michaels. But you probably have a Hobby Lobby and I don't. And I really like Hobby Lobby too. Uh, ooh, a tape. You'll make me a table. All right. Because Jeremy is, Jeremy, you should drop your cookie page in here too. Because what your sawdust and cutters, 
put your put your page name in here because it's really cute because he makes cookies and he does woodworking. Let's see. And Nadine says, so is mine. <laughs> uh, they look like torture devices. They do. They do. But if you've ever done pottery, they are actually super useful for the clay. Hope all is well for Jeremy. Yes, Parmesan is awesome. They are so sweet. They don't bark a lot except when someone comes and goes, like just to let me know, which is great for me because I'm used to having German shepherds around. So they're, they've always been my security system. So they give me enough notice until I acknowledge someone's around and then they settle right down and they smile all the time. Uh, the little tools, Becky, if you're still here, these are mini clay tool set. It's in the clay section at Michael's. But on the supply list I'm going to put up for you, I put up a set of 12 that's about the same price, maybe $1 more, but it's um, it's either 10 or 12 of all wooden tools. So if you'd rather get that, that'll be on the supply list right after our live is over. Bev, you haven't missed anything. We've been chatting and catching up and letting everybody know what's going on today. Uh, Kelly, good. You have a 3D printer. You're going to like a lot of the stuff that's coming. Oh my God, Jeremy, Bev has moved 42 times. She might beat you. Are you on 43rd move? Is the floor to move a, um, <laughs> a 43rd or 42? Okay, so Cheryl, hello. All right, so let's come away from the comments. Let's jump in and do a couple of palm trees. I'm going to leave my tools here, but for today, I'm probably going to just be using this one and this one from that pack, okay? That's probably all I need today because I need sharp edges. So I'm going to move the rest of this out of the way. Um, and I'm going to close the powdered sugar bag so that I don't accidentally hit that and send it flying all over. Although I think that would be a really cool reel for Instagram. Um, I have a couple of things that I am going to put up as challenges within our group to see who can come up with the best videos. And they're going to be funny videos. You don't have to talk during them. They can be 30 seconds. You can film them with your phone, but it's for all of us to, um, and they have specific requirements. Like you'll have to be wearing a cookie shirt or, or something with a logo on it um, for your business or my business, or just a fun, like Baker's got a bake type shirt. And then there's going to be activities that you have to do. Do you guys remember all the ice buckets? ice bucket challenges that went on when they were raising money. Well, we're going to do something like that, but let's just say it involves sugar, sprinkles, some things of that nature, maybe a cupcake or two to the face. I don't know. Um, some things coming and there's going to be some great prizes. I'm working with a couple of people right now for prizes. <laughs> let's see. Oh my God, Jeremy, this is funny. I just saw this. I have to put this up and then we'll go on. So Bev has Jeremy beat, but let's switch to density. He's 44, so he's averaging 1.419 years between moves. That is just intense. Literally, when I got up to move 15, I started not unpacking and it became a real problem. I would just live in crates for as long as possible because I was just sure we were going to finish the house. We were remodeling before we moved again. So I was just living in crates. I was like, I'm done. <laughs> this is too much. I know other people can't live that way, but it honestly didn't bother me at all. But see, I started excessively unpacking in the last few days. So um, who knows? Who knows what the Lord has in store for me. Oh, guys, also on your um, list tonight, I'm going to put a link not to this exact pack because this is the pack that was in with the clay tools, but this is for size. I'm going to drop a link in tonight for food safe cello packets, which keep the moisture away. Um, they pull the moisture away. So this is what I use when I store my royal icing transfers. I save them. They're this size when they come out of sprinkles and sugars. I save all of them. And this is what I put back in when I um, make extra royal icing transfers because I keep those labeled so that I can quickly go grab something because they, you know, I have some that have lasted and been great in color and taste for two years. Some are only um, good, they're good in taste, but they start to fade. So maybe they're not as bright as you want. You're going to have to paint them after a year. It just depends. Um, but I put them in an airtight container and I put one of these in with them. And the reason I do the airtight container is because I don't want to risk any bugs or gnats or anything like that getting to that sugar. 
And so I put one of these in because really they should be stored where they have a little airflow. That's the best way. But I just, I can't risk it with having a business, anything like that happening. Like if I was just fooling around with stuff and decorating and it didn't matter, that'd be fine. But so I saved these, but realizing that most of you probably don't have the same obsession that I do with this whole sprinkle thing over the years, I found you a link of this size packet. So it'll be on your supply list tonight. This is particularly good for people that live in areas where there's high humidity. So if you bake a bunch of cookies ahead of time, even if they're just for decorating and you put them into an airtight, airtight container, you can drop these in. So I found you a link of the food safe ones that I have had to order before to put in things that I am sealing up. Okay. So I'll put that that's on the list for the list you're going to get tonight. It's not in your first supply supply list that you're going to get in a few minutes, but it is for the list for part two and part three today. Okay. So big palm tree, Jen, drop this in for um, Kelly. This is both of these cutters, both of these cookies cutters, are from Shabi. These are bonus. They are not from the Dots and Bows set because I didn't design these. These are Shabi, okay? And you can make them as complicated or as uncomplicated as you want. So here is what we are going to do right now. We are going to take our dark. We're going to be using a dark brown. And I am going to cut this rather wide. Watch, watch this. We're just going to jump in. So Jen, will you put a timestamp on here? for me of 32 minutes, 30 seconds when the tutorial starts, because it's always fun to visit with you all, but I don't want everyone to have to weed through this later to get to the actual, um, um, <clears throat> oh, Priscilla, you put those um, silicone packs in with your copper cutters and it cuts down on the tarnishing. I imagine it would because it keeps the moisture away. So I don't want everyone else to have to weed through the whole video to get here, okay? All right, so let me put this up really. This is funny. Let's see. Jeremy and I grew up in a um my friends in Mount Aurora work in fifth grade. <laughs> well, when you think everyone lives like you do as you're a little kid, you do think they're moving all the time, right? So tutorial starts at 3230, guys. Kelly's here, got it. And Jen just dropped you the shavy link again. <laughs> all right, got it. All right, so this is toothpaste consistency. Think Colgate, don't think gel. Think Colgate toothpaste consistency, 25 to 30 seconds. Basically, guys, when you think you're there with really stiff icing, add another teaspoon or tablespoon of powdered sugar and stir again. You want a very matte finish. So I want to actually sculpt the base of my tree today. That's what we're doing on these. So I have cut a very wide tip and I am gonna be putting down a large area and you see it's not running off the cookie if you do what i just did and your icing starts going off the cookie and jeremy no comments about what this may currently look like at the moment i know what it currently looks like but just think about how pretty this cookie is going to be <laughs> no comments right now peanut gallery so if you put this down and you're doing it at an angle like i am pressure piping to get a lot of icing down you see how i'm getting it thicker as i go to the bottom and it's running off your cookie your icing is not thick enough what i want you to notice why this is fun is because you can actually make 3d shape look at that my icing i just <laughs> jen i'm not posting that <laughs> My icing is just as tall or thick, wide, whatever you want to call it, as my cookie. So this is going to be a really cool cookie when we get done with it, okay? So we need to let that just sit for a minute. And then what we're going to do, have a paper towel handy um, in case your icing starts to stick to the tool you're working with, right? So you can just quickly wipe it off. That's so funny. Bev, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Let's see. It's a Tootsie Roll. Oh, guys, remember that, um, do you remember the um, Meloetta that I did for the Pokemon Go Fest that was coming out this weekend that I created and I did her hair out of a rolled fruit flavored Tootsie Roll? Okay, so I think I did that two Sundays ago. So like 10 days ago, maybe. It is just now dry enough. That Tootsie Roll has just now been exposed to the air long enough that it's dry enough that it could be bagged. So that is not ever a cookie that you want to do and then try and bag it because the oils from the candy are released, 
when you do that rolling and then do, I did that um, can to make the grooves in it, to make the music note stuff for her hair. Um, and of course, we're not eating that cookie. It, we're not selling that cookie. We just did it for fun. In fact, it was basically a commission piece. So someone specially requested I make that cookie just to show them the cookie because they wanted it as advertisement that they were participating in GoFest. So um, it, they just basically gave me a donation for me to make the cookie. And so I did. Um, and it's just, it's just like a special request thing. So I guess I should mention that too. That's something that I've had a couple of people ask because I did the Meloetta and I did, um, oh my gosh, I can't remember what the other one was that wasn't part of our series, but about a month before Meloetta Pokemon, I did another one that was a special request. So, um, Yes, I will do that. If you guys have special requests for things like that, there's a thing on the coffee site that I'm going to set up for you called commission requests. So if you ever want me to do a specific demo for you, um, uh, a specific, a specific, avoid making, <laughs> okay. You're going to need me to make it fast because you can't hold out. So let me start sculpting. Okay. So anyway, if you ever do want something like that, where it's basically like I'm giving you a complete teaching tutorial and you want to make a, say a 25 or $50 donation, depending on how complex it is, I am totally open for that. It's called commission work. And I actually will jump on and show you how to do that. So those are things that are open to you now too, that I didn't have before. All right. So look guys with this tool. Isn't that great? Look at the grooves I just got. Let's see. And watch, you can do pulling in either direction if you want to get even more sculpting. Um, let's see here. Look. All right. And then you can use this to go along the edge. Can you see that? I love this. And the camera's doing such a good job today. Okay. So now I've got grooves, a little bit of grit. Hold on one second. I don't, I hope my husband is okay. My phone is blowing up and he doesn't normally text me when he's at work. So let me just make sure he's okay. Hold on one sec. He is good. I don't, he might be watching the YouTube. Sometimes he forgets I'm streaming on Tuesdays. All right. So look, we did that. But then the other cool thing about palm trees, you know, they always have that cool like hash mark. Look how easy it is to go back and add that in. I'm telling you, you can have so much fun with this. And if you find that you have a younger child that's totally into Play-Doh, this is the kind of thing you should cut them loose with on cookies because they really, they just see things differently. So this is a great art technique. Um, that you can cut them loose with. But look, guys, you see what we just did? Now, later when this is totally dry and it will take several hours to dry because it's got to go all the way to the center, I'm just using my tool to keep it. Look at how cute that is. Okay. Um, but later I'll go back and do a little dry dusting with some Turkish black. But isn't that cool? What a fun technique. Okay, so let's do the other one real quick. Then we're going to do one of them with leaves. Thank you for visiting with me. I feel like when I don't see you between, if I don't get to do a really long live on a Sunday or something, when I don't see you guys, I feel like there's so much to tell you because there's literally so much happening right now. I'm so excited about some additional changes that are coming for my business. Um, there are changes that are happening a year and a half sooner than I originally planned, but very, very excited. And I'm one of those um, silver lining people. So we've all had business owners have all had a really rough time the last year and a half. But I have to tell you, I've had some absolutely magnificent things happen, especially in the last month and a half. So I'm super stoked to tell you. Let's see. Let me see. I want to see this. Oh, I want to see this one. I've been watching my grands for the last three years to cookie. We start when they were two, you started when they're two and a half. They love it. They're getting good. Oh, that's so awesome. You know why? Because Lorraine, you're going to have a whole army of cookiers when those kids grow up, or you're going to have started a next baker. Kelly, you too. Oh, Mary Jean was, I am sorry. Hopefully you can see it. So I'm just working. This is the long bladed tool and I'm just working it 
on this because I'm also rounding it out by putting that little bit of pressure. But I, you saw I just let it sit there. I did, probably didn't tell you why I was letting it sit there, but I let it sit there for about two minutes so it would crust over. I love doing sculpting. You guys know that I like multiple mediums on a cookie, right? I like to blend different things because I think it's a little edible piece of art. So I think that you really can do a lot on cookies that maybe people didn't used to think about. But I am really, really loving royal icing sculpting um, as much as I like sculpting and fondant. By the way, can't wait for the class with Timbo, the under the sea class. Oh, I hope you guys got signed up for that. Okay, so you can see the grooves. Now let's go back this way. I'm starting where my blade, can you see that? My blade is actually on the cookie. And then I'm just lightly rocking to the other side. You see what I'm doing? Not a lot of pressure, just lightly, a light, light touch. But this has such a nice edge on it. It's giving me a wide, blunt cut there. And then I'm going to come back this direction. Okay, go this direction. If you need to come from both sides, because I did put a little thicker icing on this, then you can do that. I'm going to make another suggestion for those of you who toasted coconut. If you have toasted coconut, um, you don't have, if you don't want to do the sculpting, if you just want to put down a layer of outline and flood consistency, which is eight to 20 seconds for the trunk on your tree and then put some toasted coconut on it like this. I'll make one like that for you later when we're off camera, but for a beginner level, it also tastes fantastic. It looks really, really good, like realistic, like the husk. Also, you guys, it put gloves on if you're doing this to sell them. This is just for your video. But you see that I can manipulate this just slightly. You see what's happening here? So I have these two nice tree trunks, right? And they're very, very 3D. They're not coming off the cookie. They're not moving. Can you see that? So let's go to this little guy. And then I put on your the supply list that I'm going to be putting up later. I put a 67. Can you see this? The 67 has the cut in it like the chicken beak, but then it also has, has very thin opening here, right? The reason I put this and not the other one that's just the chicken beak is because um, this gives us a nice center line. So it's going to help us when we go to sculpting. Okay. Um, you earned, you earned a top fan badge for Sierra. Oh, you did. Oh, how cool. No, you're never going to get banned, Jeremy. I love it when you're here. We're going to miss you when you go back to work. So I hope you're going to work us in on your lunch break. Thank you, Mary Jean. Thank you, Becky. All right. So cutting the tip of the bag. So it's a larger opening so that I can use this instead of a coupler right? It's going to drop right into the tip and I gauge where to cut it by looking at this. I want to be able to drop this bag in so that I don't mess up the outer shield bag, but I don't want it down here so far that it um, blocks the design. So we're going to do one of these palm trees. This will get you started. I'm going to show you how to sculpt the leaves and then you guys go crazy this afternoon and post some pictures. Now, just full disclosure, I'm using two shades of green. I'm using a light of that color and a dark because I'm going to layer it. Okay. So I am going to have to switch back and forth and you're going to see how quick that goes. Now, what I found handy when I did these earlier was to just put a blob of icing here in the center. This doesn't need to look like anything. I just need some extra icing there. Okay. Then I'm going to use my tool. I'm going to kind of pat that down to the cookie because this is all super thick icing. And I'm going to start in the middle, and I, this does have to kind of be upright, guys, so forgive me. Um, but just if you do it in person, then you'll know what I'm talking about. So this needs to be upright because I'm going down into this, okay? And you're going to need to hold your cookie for this. I'm going down into it, and then I'm coming up because I want that really textured leaf. And I'm going to turn a little bit as I get here so that I can pull it out to a full tip. Can you see that? Oh, I'm so glad my camera's doing so well today. Isn't that beautiful? All right, let's do it again so you can see what I did. Let's go to the other side. We're going straight up and down at the cookie. Let me try to turn it. Let me see. If I turn it like this, we're going straight perpendicular to the cookie. We're going to work it, right, really thick so we get some upward dimension. Then we're, do you see how I'm jiggling it back and forth? 
coming out to the end of the leaf. Then I turn it and then I pull it off. Okay. All right. Now let's switch. Watch. This is so great. So I pull this bag out. It's like a sleeve. I pull this out. You see my bag is still clean. Isn't that great? All right. Let's cut this about the same. So it drops in but doesn't block the design. So it makes this like a sleeve. I'm going to drop it right in. Can you see all that? All right. I'm going to purge what was in the bag until I get to the light green. There we go. You probably could use that so it would be shaded green. And you probably could mix this green if you wanted to. So I'm going to come right in here. And I'm going to do this leaf up top. I'm going to turn. Okay. I'm going to do one at the bottom. And I'm going to turn it. I'm going to do one from here and come over. Turn it so I pull out. I'm going to do that. Am I still on frame there? Coming in, out, turn it. Okay. Now we need to let that set. I feel like that is plenty of icing on my cookie. Somebody's going to go into sugar heaven with this. Yes, there's a little corn syrup in my icing, so it's not going to be too thick. Let's go ahead and wipe off the blade that we're using. And I think at this point, I'm going to switch to this one. Can you see that? I'm going to switch to this. Hey, Jen, in case I forgot to say thank you earlier, thank you for reminding me to approve that post because definitely um, a few more people popped on it relevant here, but I'm looking for STL files for cookie cutters. Um, okay. Um, Jen, drop her the link for the dots and bows site for the main Tiki hot series in here for go straight to the STL files for her. Now the cookie cutter we're doing right now, um, there is not an STL file for this unless Shay B sells STL because these are bonus cookies. These aren't cutters that I designed. He saw a butterfly. That's cool. I like that. Psychologically, Jeremy, what does that mean that he saw a butterfly? Um, Jen, grab that link right to the STL files. And that will help her out for the main set. It's not for this particular cutter, but surely somebody has STL files for a palm tree cutter. Now, can you see what I'm doing? How I'm just using the sharp part. It's crusted over just a little bit. Now, I can tell you um, before I do, if I was going to do a bunch of these, I would stop and rebag this light green icing because it has a little more water content to, it, content to it than my dark green. My dark green is absolutely perfect. But do you see that this is a little bit shiny? This one, there's a little bit too much water. So what happens is when I jiggle it, the water mo molecules all start coming together and it makes it, it has to sit longer to crust. So what I'm doing right now is I'm working on the parts that don't look shiny, right? And then this is the one that we're going to finish up. This will be the end of our noon tutorial. When I jump off here, I'm going to post a completely free supply list. If you want to make a donation to help me with some of the middle of the month expenses, I would truly appreciate that. If that's not something you can do this month, don't worry. It seems to all be working itself out. Everything is getting paid for and um, the people that are able to help each month are definitely coming through for me. Thank you so much, you guys. Um, you don't know how much I can't possibly relate to you, how much I appreciate your support and all of the things that you have helped me with, not just throughout the pandemic, but specifically since I started live streaming like this, um, because it's what's allowing me to make some changes that are going to be a lot better for me and my husband and my health. And just so that I can enjoy things a little bit more. I'm, I'm just a little bit too old, not too old. I'm not ancient or decrepit or anything. I'm just saying 18 hour days are starting to take their toll on my body. And I'm like you, I want to enjoy my life a little bit more, right? Can you guys see what I'm doing here right there? I just notched them so they look a little bit more like a palm tree leaf. Do you see how easy that is? You just literally go in and take that little section out because it's crusted. So that's the beauty of the sculpting. If you just are able to have the patience to let it sit 
these are going to look like windblown when I get done because I'm actually able to manipulate these palm fronds so that they're actually twisted. I'm going to take some great side angle pictures for you today too. Now, it would not be a complete live if I did not hit this with some glitter. Who's up for some green glitter? All right, hold on. I have to appropriately shield the base because I want the base to stay normal, but we have to have glitter and you knew it was coming. Just admit it. You knew it. So this is diamond dust. If you have the bake L, use the bake L, but I can't not. I'm sorry. I have to have it. So I actually have two shades. I put one shade. Um, Sally, I don't know what that is. So maybe message me some info. I have two shades of diamond dust. So I'm mixing that in. And I also have two shades of the Bake L, but they're not in pump sprayers yet. I ordered some more of those little pump bottles. So um, I have to have that. Look how cute that is. Oh my gosh. So cute. And I hope my live streams are helping you keep your sanity throughout the big changes that are happening to everyone. I hope you're enjoying them and having fun. All right, let's cut in just a little bit more, get a few more notches. So when we did that ribbony look with the 67 tip, the reason I like the 67 is because I get that cool line right there, more like what's on an actual palm frond. Um, but we also wanted to get that cool layered ribbon effect and we needed it to be crusting icing, royal icing, so we could come back and notch for the palm fronds. Do you see those little notches, how they're just making it, it just looks so perfect. All right, let's flip this around a little. Now, the reason I said make some of these with toasted coconut for the base is because there are going to be some people that want to eat this cookie because it has so much icing on it. Some people love this meringue icing. Um, I'm one of those people. I could eat this cookie without a problem, for real. I would have no issue grabbing this cookie from a cookie table. But some people will want less sugar. Now, it might be the only dessert I eat because it's a lot of sugar. But some people will want a naked cookie. You could stain the bottom if you have a wedding and they've asked you for limited icing. You could stain the bottom, like with brown food gel. And then just do leaves up top and you could do a flat layer of icing and add a little diamond dust. You're still going to have a super fancy, pretty cookie, right? All right. Well, I think this little guy is done. Later when he's dry, I'll do a little um, dry dusting on him on his trunk. But isn't that a sweet cookie? And look, this is what's fabulous. It's not necessarily that you need to make this cookie exactly this way. But look at this. Doesn't this give you any ideas for some holidays that are coming up on being able to do a technique like this on certain cookies? <clears throat> Fall, pumpkins, Halloween, graveyard, Christmas. Isn't this so much fun? Okay, so go to it. I would actually challenge you right now for someone to make your palm fronds out of wafer paper. I may do one of those this afternoon. I haven't done it yet, and you would have to hand cut them. But if you took my Bella Fairy class, you're going to be really good at hand cutting and getting the notches. You know when to do the airbrushing, so you could actually have a wafer paper version of this too. Okay, so this is day five, Tiki Hot Summer Series Part 1. So at 4 o'clock, I'll see you for Part 2, and that will be the two cans. I get right, Sally, two cans. Um, and then at 7 p.m. tonight, all at Eastern Standard Time, I will see you for day five, part three, Tiki Hot Summer Series. And we will be doing the pineapple that is from the Dots and Bows cutter set. Okay, so I'm going to do a few more palm trees, use up this beautiful icing while it's the perfect consistency. Bev, you are super welcome. Thank you for being with us today. You guys give me just a couple minutes. I'll get the supply list loaded. Um, and you can, it's going to be free. If you want to download it for free, just go ahead and download it. If you feel like making any kind of donation, you can. Um, and I will have a second supply list for part two and one for part three, because I want to be able to go back to my coffee site and tag the videos directly to those particular supply lists. Okay. Uh, yeah. Wouldn't that be cool? Oh yeah. Bev, 
I mean, um, Becky, you definitely could cut this. Um, Na uh, Nancy Westfall has great ways to cut cricket paper to cut wafer paper on your cricket. Totally could do that. Let's see. So sparkly palm trees should be. In, yeah, they should be. They should be. And 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 I'm gonna. I have a surprise for you. I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but one of these trees when it's done, it's gonna have something else on it that is a total Florida thing. So. I didn't put coconuts on this, but you could put coconuts too, but that's not the thing I'm doing. And yes, Kelly, I'll see you later. Thank you guys for joining me. Oh, uh, Shayna, how are you? All right. So everyone have a great day. Thank you. I'll have your supply list up for part one in just a minute. Please make sure you smash the subscribe button on YouTube. Hit, give me a like and a love on Facebook. Share it to your personal pages if you can. Oh, you had Bunko. That's kind of fun. Bunko's fun. Um, share it. Just get me some shares out there and let's bring some new cookie friends in. Okay. Hope it's Ralph. It's not Ralph, but it's so cool. But you're going to die, Bev. It's so cute. I promise you. All right. Bye you guys. Have a great afternoon. I'll see you at four Eastern standard time. This is Amy from seriously sweet and cookie snack attack.